what is just going right right now, in your opinion, just from a rhythm standpoint, a play calling standpoint, whatever you want to call it, that's just clicking with this offense? I think we've done um, a much better job just going through the week of just building momentum and confidence and, and getting like things practiced. And sometimes now we're getting some looks we don't anticipate. Matter of fact, we actually sometimes feel like we spend a lot of time practicing against certain things, and all of a sudden you get defended differently, whether it be the way they're kicking their front or the blitzes you're getting. And there's, that's always a part of it. There's a little bit of jockeying early in the game. I think we've done much better. I felt early in the year when we struggled, we didn't come into the game with momentum. And I think we've came through each week with some momentum. Now you still got to execute on Saturdays, but I think we're coming into the game with some confidence and some, and some momentum during the week of practice. And you, you, you're sitting there with Ryan Day next to you. Have y'all found you can adjust things quicker? I mean, as it's gone, have y'all developed the chemistry in that respect or whatever you want to call it? Yeah, and I, you know, one, I think, one, we're getting some great communication, I think, you know, from, from Coach Meyer during the week of things he wants to see or why. And I think, you know, Ryan's doing a great job of, of mixing up some past thoughts. And, um, you know, I got a little idea of, like, tempo and going fast. And I think just, you know, we've kind of figured out short term. Now, again, you know, there's, there's always going to be bumps in the road. You don't block it well or you – you, you don't guess right and call a bad play and get behind chains, but right now we don't have all the answers. But we're, you know, we're, we're working together very well. It's you fun. Know, Six four thousand dollar question now is though, y'all haven't played against Murderer's Row when it comes to defenses. You know, the last five games, as Urban Meyer says, he's realistic about that. But how much? How do you see this carrying over into this starting next week against? A really good defense in Penn State, and what you got to face down the road. I think a big part of that is kind of what you do this week. You know, sometimes when you're playing well, you want to keep the momentum. We've talked about it during practice, and we're not trying to over practice, and we're trying to get some guys some rest. But we're also really working with the older guys, keep bringing our offensive line along, the tight end group along, the, you know, our depth and its skill positions. So to me, there's a way you practice. You know, during this week, that kind of keeps the momentum because you're going to lose game day Saturday. Yeah. And you see some teams play well, and all of a sudden they falter that, that next time. You can over practice, you can under practice. Right now, we just have we have a lot of positive energy. We're just trying to keep that through this week. We've had two, uh, two really good practices uh, the last two days. It's very encouraging. Our defense is very, very competitive. Even though we're going to play against some tremendous defenses starting this week at Penn State, we get that every day in practice, and we go so much good on good. Uh, to me, that kind of sharpens us the way you need to be sharpened. Kevin, there was a talk about how much you might want to use the tight end in the passing game. It seemed like that showed up last weekend and maybe for the last couple of weeks. Is that to the level where you want it or envision, or uh, how, how would you evaluate their impact on the passing game for you? I would say, um, actually, I think earlier we've tried very, very hard to force some things to come to them, but by the structure of coverages and rotations or protections and it didn't they didn't they didn't show up in the I would have told you a couple three weeks okay this is gonna happen this is gonna happen we're gonna get this guy by the guy of the ball here here and here and it didn't happen and really Saturday we didn't really think about it happening and it did. So sometimes it's just the flow of the game and you know it's kinda of like the good Lord when you get greedy and push things it doesn't happen. And so I think uh, right now there's just uh, there's there's nice balance, and as they come on, JT's comfortable. You can throw the ball outside. You got good players at the slot. Running backs are coming along. Keep the tight ends. There's a lot of skill, and I'm used to when the offenses are good. You're not forcing it to one guy. You're spreading the ball around because when the defense takes away a space, they give you a space. They give you a matchup, and you want to be able to take advantage of it. Do you have to tell like Marcus or Rashad? Because you said that a couple weeks ago you thought that might be a big game for them. That's just the way it works sometimes at position. Very, very much. I, mean, I even told them before that. I said every time I've tried, I've, I've told guys like, "Hey, we're going to do this." It never happened. And so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I just appreciate the way. I think G. Heard if you go back and listen, I've listened to JT on a couple things. He talked about how the way we're practicing. Yeah. The thing that encourages me, even though Marcus or Rashad didn't get balls, they kept their practicing better. And there's good momentum with our football team and with good practice habits. Kevin, Kevin, where does Rashad? I don't know. If Rank or whatever, can you put in context like his his athleticism as a tight end position with maybe some other guys you've had in the past? He it, seems like a very naturally explosive guy. Extremely explosive, as explosive as as just innately physically skilled as any kid I've dealt with. So he has a high end, he's learning how to play the position. So much of it's done in the off season. So in fairness to him, he loses all the spring. We didn't move him to the very end of summer. And so he's had a short window to polish his skills. He has a high ceiling, and I'm encouraged by the way he's coming along, and he's playing well, and he's not even close to, to so many things he could do better. He's got a chance to be a special player. I guess it was going to like, like 